All right. I have this dark indigo blue color of yarn that I am going to cut into these little strips to represent that deep, dark, cold layer of the ocean, that abyss and subterranean layer of mystery. And I'm starting to get a little bit of a, a groove here. So I just cut one to size and then I'm just using that as a template. And I imagine that low level of ocean is still. I imagine it as very still. So I want to glue these pieces um, in straight strips. And I have this feeling of stillness on this layer of the water. And as I cut these pieces, I'm connecting into that slower, stiller, colder, darker, deeper layer of the ocean. A part of the world that <laughs> I am very unfamiliar with. And then these can be a foundation. And then I'll put my iceberg over it. And even though you won't be able to see a lot of the work that I've done underneath it, I know it's there. And energetically that depth will hold space for these glaciers. So I have the next layer of my art project coming alive with the glaciers and the layers of the ocean, the trench layer, the abyss, the midnight zone, the twilight zone, and the sunlight zone. And bringing in an element of the rivers that flow into the ocean and the evaporation of water up into the air that will come down as rain and fill. So I want to bring the cycles. Ooh, so cool. So I'm going through my pictures and finding my own images to collage here on the background and cut and place on the sides. I'm really excited about this piece. I put my art piece on an easel so that I can actually see it upright. And I also found a piece of broken mirror that I'm going to be breaking into pieces and putting here as some of the reflected jagged edges of self that we see in the dark abyss of the emotional waters. And I'm also starting to get that frozen snowpack of our emotions that is frozen and I'm going to have icicles that are coming down. These are all pictures I've taken and how those icicles melt into the flow. I'm really enjoying the saran wrap for the sunshine layer of the water and my big win yesterday. I really enjoy. I cut my picture up and I really love bringing it to the edges. I'm excited about that. So today and this weekend, I'm going to connect in with the rigid frozenness of emotions, which is so prevalent in our time right now, and bring in icicles. Once those icicles are in place, I've started making these little rain thingies. So the rain will be coming down too as the icicles thaw and the clouds rain water and it goes back into the ocean yay aren't those so pretty this little plastic bag was wrapping some of my vegetables so i'm repurposing it and using it as snow over some pictures of mine that i've taken 
Oh my gosh, it's so fun. It's like, I love all the movement and the water element. Look at this. Even the icicles and the snow move. Oh my gosh. I have this selenite that I am going to shatter and put up here for ice crystals. Oh my goodness. Look what's happening up here in the icy region. Different crystals and selenite icicles starting to come alive and dimensions and caves of ice to go into. Oh my goodness. I have one of my first rain droplets coming up and look at these crystals. Oh yeah. And I've got man cove. This is my sacred space. This was my body altar that I did my summer solstice on here. And this is actually the waterfall on Hesse Trail. Two very sacred spaces for me. And I got water that moves on it. Yay. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. One of the things I learned really deeply when I was working with water on my recent Eco Soul Summer Retreat program is that water on its own is cold whether it's ice or water without the sun the water is not warm enough for habitation for most of the wildlife in the ocean and for humans to interact with so even though this is a water piece the sun is a vital aspect of me interacting with it so without the sun water is deadly -er. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I got the big raindrops on and the little ice crystals starting to melt, bringing in some movement. Now I'm trying to figure out how to make clouds because water goes up into the sky and makes clouds and that's what allows things to rain. So I'm working on the upper atmosphere. Wow, I have my picture hanging up on the wall for the very first time. I have raindrops and clouds and icicles and crystal glaciers dripping into the river of life. I have the lake, the basin that collects all of this crystal life. Look at that sun. The sun is what warms up the water and makes it habitable for humans and so many life forms. And so many life forms are in the ocean and I have various levels of the ocean. And the great thing about this art piece is it's interactive. As I, as I move, the glacier element down here catches my, my spirit. It's holy moly amazing. Wow. 